Hello, I'm Tom Bird, Drake and Manager, and welcome to the Fly Fish Store YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at a controversial method, fishing the bung with buzzers. This is a really controversial method. Some people see it as float fishing, however there is no denying how effective it is and it's absolutely perfect for beginners. There's a range of indicators out there. We've got the vision indicators, slide on, very adjustable. However, today we're going to be looking at the bung. So this is from Fario Fly. It's actually a Drake branded one, which you can see there. And these will be these are available in the shop and online. We're going to look at setting up the bung, fishing it. We've got some shots out on the water. So to kick off with, we're going to look at the floating line for the bung. Now this is quite important. The bung, as obviously you can understand, isn't a very aerodynamic method. So what we want is we want a fly line that can punch the bung out, away from the boat, with a team of buzzers suspended underneath. So what we've gone for is the still water floater from Rio. And the reason this line is so good is it's got a long head, 50 feet, and it's got a lot of weight in that head length, which means it's going to turn over the bung, turn over the buzzers, and give us a nice presentation also got the highest floating tip that I have found on any fly line so that means when the bung dips under and you need to strike the tip's floating you've not got any slack in the system and you're going to connect with those fish so that's the line that we go for another fantastic feature it's got is it's got a hang mark and set at 20 feet so when you get to that hand get that to your hand you know you've only got about 10 feet and it's probably time to recast the bung so obviously sometimes when you're watching that bung so intently you can lose track of how much fly line you've got out of the rod. So let's go into the actual method itself. So here I've got a leader set up. So I've got the bull there. So from the end of the fly line, got about three feet of leader to the bull. Any less it becomes really aero, unaerodynamic, and it's not quite great at casting. So about three feet. So that's set up on a dropper and then you can vary your leader lens depending on the sort of depth of water you want to fish. You don't really want to go much more, probably the maximum on a 10 feet rod would be about 11 and a half feet so you can net fish if it takes the point fly. Here I've just got it set up so you can sort of see. So I've got my top dropper there, my middle dropper, and then my biggest fly on the point. The reason I do that is just again to aid with the turnover of the leader. You have your heaviest fly near the bung, it, it just wants to snarl up and tangle all the time. So when you're fishing the bung, I normally go for three feet to my first, to the dropper which is going to have my bung on, and then I vary between three or four feet and I just measure this off with an arm span. So that is three feet and that would be four feet for me. First fly, then again, so that's set at four feet below the bung. I then maybe go to another one, which would be seven feet. So I've gone four feet, down to seven. That gives me seven feet, middle dropper. And then I might go for 11 feet, so another four foot after that. And where the areas we're looking to fish this on would be the drop offs. So just at the edge of the bank where you can start just making out the bottom. That probably, depending on the water clarity, going to mean you're in about sort of 11, 12 feet of water. So what does that mean when you're fishing the bung? You've got your point fly near the bottom, you've got one in the middle and one close to the surface. Now the reason this method is so effective is you can really accurately pinpoint what depth the fish are feeding at that day, depending on where they're taking the buzzer in the hatch. So when buzzers hatch, what they do is they ascend to the surface in a sort of motion like that. So they pull up, and then drop back, pull up, and then drop back. So when you're fishing the bung, when it's cast out on that ripple and the bung's going up and down on that wave like that, the buzzers are behaving exactly how they would 
for the natural imitation and the result can be absolutely devastating. So hopefully you'll be able to see how effective the bung is and give it a go and catch some fish. So we're out here on the water now. We've got the Fario bung set up. So we've got three buzzers suspended nicely under the bung. We've got the first one at three foot, the next one at seven foot, and then the point one at 11 foot. That gives us the ability to fish a range of depths and those buzzers are suspended nice and static under the indicator. So, oh. Oh. Right, we'll go and get another.